Let's take a look at some tools in synchronous technology for manipulating parts within an assembly. If I click on a part in a synchronous assembly, I'm going to get the steering wheel, which I can snap to any key point in the assembly. I can then use that steering wheel to translate or rotate that part or subassembly anywhere in 3D space. I can do it dynamically, or I can key in a specific value. I can even snap my translation to key points on other parts to line things up. If I move a part in an assembly that has existing assembly relationships, I'm going to be notified that I've modified or violated those relationships. It's useful to work with key points in an assembly because I can then position my component relative to other components. For example, if I want this conveyor belt to be up on this level, I'll just snap that key point to that particular level. If I click on this torus, or rather this plane within my steering wheel, I can actually move it freely around that plane, which is very useful for moving things around uh, while keeping them on a single plane. Another thing I can do with that steering wheel is enter an offset, let's say two feet. This is useful if you want to keep a certain edge of a part a distance from an edge in another part. I'm going to edit this assembly to show some more features that we can use. If I click on a part, I have the option to either move just that part or by toggling this button I can move its associated subassembly. Another handy feature is switching from switching to faces priority. What this is going to do is select any active faces within a defined area, in this case that box that I've drawn. And this time when I move with my arrow, not only am I moving parts, but I'm actually modifying any faces to accommodate that movement change. Let's move this 300 mil over. So you see I've actually changed the length of some of those parts by moving those faces. Going back to my assembly, if I'm happy where my part is sitting in 3D space, you notice that by moving it I've actually eliminated some of those assembly relationships. If I want to restore assembly relationships, all I need to do is select my part and use my assembly relationship assistant. That's going to allow me to, to, based on my part selection and where the part's sitting or the assembly sitting in 3D space, it's going to automatically generate a set of relationships for me so that I can very quickly build that intelligence back into the model. So you see in synchronous technology, we've got a couple of new tools that make it a lot easier to move parts around in 3D space and eliminate some of the dependencies on tedious assembly relationships.